guys, it's Gamer Amor here. So if you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time, you'll know that I have some pretty spectacular items in my video game collection. And I've done several videos on some of my top rare and expensive video games in my collection, along with consoles, controllers, and just other items. So today I wanted to talk about three, well more like five items in my collection that are often looked over whenever I do those game room tour videos and just some pretty hard to find items and some that I just have gotten lucky over the years while collecting. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first of all, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing and hitting that bell notification. I have around 2,730 subscribers at the time of actually recording this video, and I am very close to 3,000 subscribers. So I wanted to do something that was pretty cool and something where I just showed some of my favorite items in my collection, some that had taken me forever to try and find. So I wanted to talk about some that just really stand out and some that I may have passed over in some of my game room tour videos and some other videos. So here we'll go ahead and start out with this pretty awesome vintage Nintendo toy chest. So this is something that had taken forever for me to find and when I did find it, I found it in pretty decent shape, found it for a pretty reasonable price and I've seen these go for over a hundred dollars, sometimes several hundred dollars depending on the shipping costs and the condition of the particular item. So these would have been back in the day and this would have been around the time of 1989 which a lot of these actually have those little trademark stamps on them. So this has this older style Mario and Zelda characters on here and this is just a really cool piece of history, something that a lot of kids may have had back in their rooms back in the day when the original NES came out. So this one is pretty neat. So this is often talked about as being the Zelda trunk, even though it has a lot of the Super Mario characters on it. So if we just take a closer look at this pretty cool chest, you can actually fit quite a bit of items in here. I just kind of have miscellaneous blister packs and other games in here. So this thing is just really cool. It's just pretty durable, made out of wood. On the outside, we have all of these beautiful images, all of these bright, vibrant colors. And there are a lot of white areas on this particular trunk. So it's very difficult to find these in pretty immaculate condition. Even all of this metal that goes around the outside here, You'll often see a lot of rust and dings and everything else in these trunks. So to find one that's in pretty decent shape, pretty clean, and has all of these bright and vibrant colors is pretty difficult. So this one actually stood out to me because the tops are often damaged. And this one has all of the characters on here. It doesn't look like there's many spots that are discolored. It looks like it's still pretty vibrant in some areas. So of course we have Mario and he is saving the princess. We have all of these characters up here, some of these bad guys, and just the old style design and artwork on here is just so amazing. And then if we look at this front right here, you'll actually notice that we have this little hinge. And when you open it up, it just opens completely. We have all of this wood style in here. It's kind of made of all of these different woods kind of put together and pressed together. And it's actually pretty durable. It has a pretty good weight to it as well. And this is something that I just store a lot of my extra items in. And I even noticed that they have tons of models and styles of these in particular. Some other franchises and items are just pretty difficult to find. I know I have one of the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones in my collection. I just store a lot of my loose figures and everything else in there. And then there are a couple different models of that one as well. I've seen a G.I. Joe one over the years, one of those older style vintage ones. And I believe I even saw one for the old wrestling style. 
trunk like this and that one has some pretty cool artwork on it as well so the bottom actually just has this black color on it doesn't have any more images so of course on the front here we have Nintendo and it even has Mario on here we have Link for the Legend of Zelda so if we go ahead and turn this thing around you'll notice that we have several images so this one says Super Mario Brothers of course we have Mario and it looks like we have Luigi right here this is definitely that older style artwork and it's pretty crazy looking and then we have this one right here the Legend of Zelda we actually have Link again we have the Triforce I just love this image right here and then if we just keep on turning we have this one and this one actually spells out the Legend of Zelda we have this beautiful artwork this Link character with the sword and the shield so that is just really cool so this is by far one of my favorite pieces in the collection I often overlook it because it just kind of sits there and has a lot of potential with all of the different items that you can just store in here and it really makes for a pretty cool table as well so I just really like this piece and I figured that I would go ahead and talk about some of these older vintage style items in my collection and just go ahead and show these off and eventually when I get to 3,000 subscribers I'll go ahead and do another one of these style videos as well and just talk about some of the really cool items that I have in my collection some that people don't often get to see as some of the items are still in the works of being placed all around the game room and just the amazing history and everything else behind these items and then up next we move on to this corner over here so this is like my little Nintendo nook area where I have these beanbag chairs set up I have this large television right here on this little TV stand this thing is just so cool this is this Nintendo sharp television so this actually has this built-in Nintendo system into this television where you just put the game cartridge right in here it has all of these different options on here where we have all of these different buttons and volume controls and brightness and everything else so this is just really cool it even has right here this game option you have this on and off switch and this reset button we have the power over here and this is just a really cool television so over the years i have seen these jump up in price not many people actually knew about these back in the day so around 1989 a lot of these televisions were made and they were discontinued shortly after and I would assume that is because of the high price point and then of course the varying consoles that had changed over the years and everything else they even came with this really awesome different style controller so this says the game television on here select start your BA buttons and your d-pad looks just like the NES controller except this one is just a different model a different version on here it says Nintendo controller model number NES 004 so this is really sweet so there are your two options over here to go ahead and put these controllers in here even having the remote control for this TV is just very hard to do I particularly do not have one just yet as there is a cheaper model about ten dollars and it doesn't have this little game on and off button or you can get the one that has the game on and off button on it to go ahead and fully control this television and that one will run you over six hundred dollars and in mint condition I've seen even more so this TV is just really cool unfortunately this one only has three of the little feet on it and one of them has been broken off so I've seen that to be a major problem with these televisions along with these doors right here so you would have had a little door that just pops open and then snap shut to go ahead and close this and then another one down here and it would have said game on it so to find one in very immaculate shape is just so difficult you're definitely going to pay a lot of money for it and even one missing the foot right here one of the feet and then missing these doors and the remote will still cost you a lot of money just to get one of these for the pure nostalgia along with it so this is definitely pretty sweet to have in any collection and this is just a pretty rare and vintage television so right here this is one of my prized possessions in my collection I know it's a little beat up around the edges 
but it's just so cool and it's fully functional. You just pop a little cartridge in here and you're ready to go on this pretty awesome television. And then we move on to this last section over here. This is going to be three more items. So for a grand total of five in this video. So these are my pretty awesome vintage Nintendo TV carts and game storage units. So these things, especially this large one right here, are geared towards having a 20 inch television set up right on top. They're all trademarked for 1989 and there are several different models. I have three in particular in my collection and this large one right here is actually missing that huge Mario sticker that goes right on the front at the bottom there on that little side that opens up and this thing is just so cool. I remember starting out with one of the plain ones in my collection where it just says Nintendo on it. It has a shelf and it has a bottom part where you can just store tons of your Nintendo games, whether it be the boxes or the carts. And it just is really cool. You could put a little television on top or just put the game system on it and you could set it next to wherever your TV stand was. So these things are pretty neat and it's very difficult to find these nowadays and it's very difficult to find them in very good shape and even with the original box it's just even more difficult to find so unfortunately i don't have any of the boxes in my collection but i have seen some pass through over the years and eventually i'll try and upgrade some of the quality ones that i have here so i'll try and find one of the big carts that holds that 20 inch television on top. I'll try and find one of those original stickers or I'll try and find a whole new cart with the sticker as it has that older style Mario on it which is just a classic and this really adds some vintage nostalgia to any game room, any collection and I use these to store a lot of my games so I just really like these rolling carts. It's not every day that you find them and when you do Typically, you're going to spend over a hundred dollars on them and if you can get that large one for less than a few hundred dollars That's even still a great deal today as they're getting more and more sought out They're more and more difficult to find and trying to find them for great deals is just unheard of today Especially with that original box So these are three more items that I just wanted to showcase and show off in this video and just talk about all of these amazing vintage items in my collection just some that you don't see every day and if you do see them they just go for some crazy prices so i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel and i'm just so close to hitting those 3,000 subscribers and i can't wait to hit that so i'll go ahead and keep doing these videos as we go along with these different milestones in this journey here and just show off some of these quite overlooked and passed over items in my collection so today I wanted to show off these five video game items that I have in my collection that are just so cool for the pure nostalgia alone and just how it's getting even crazier to find some of these items especially for good deals and to find them in pretty great shape like I have so of course thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.